Hello everyone. This year, instead of salting and canning my chili pepper harvest, I decided to dry and powder the entire hull. Having done that, I decided to try making hot sauce with dried ingredients only. I have to say, the results really surprised me. Definitely one of the best hot sauces I've made. Not only was it delicious, there are several other benefits as well. The process is super quick and easy, and cleanup is a cinch. You can make as small a batch as you like to test the flavor before committing to a bigger batch, and once made, it's very simple to adjust heat level or flavors just by adding more dry ingredients or liquid. Here, I'm making around a 10 ounce batch, perfect for two woozy bottles. Start by adding four and a half ounces of water, and then we're gonna add two ounces of white vinegar. And then one and a half ounces of apple cider vinegar. And now this next step is completely optional. I add a about an eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum to thicken it up a little. Uh, it's perfectly fine without it. It just may separate a little, but nothing a quick shake won't fix. So I do like to add the xanthan powder to kind of keep it all together. It also sticks to food a little better. Now xanthan gum can be a little tricky to work with sometimes. Uh, if you're not blending it, sometimes it'll clump up, sometimes it'll even clump up if you're blending it. If that's the case, all you do is just pour it through a strainer and strain it in any chunks. Uh, looks like we got pretty lucky here. It all blended in pretty smoothly. <laughs> If you're not using xanthan gum, you can just jump to this step here, which is dumping in all the dry ingredients. So here, I'm using one tablespoon of Carolina Reaper that I smoked over hickory and pecan before dehydrating, uh, plus two tablespoons of cayenne. You can use any chili powders that you like. I made one sauce with uh, store-bought dry chipotles and andrew chilies that was also delicious. Then we have one tablespoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, kosher salt, and then half a tablespoon of cumin. Now we're just gonna blend that all together. That's it. It's pretty good right away, but the flavors really come together after a day or two. And once again, it's super easy to adjust even when you're done. Not hot enough? Add a little more chili powder. Want more garlic flavor? Add some more. Not only was the result better than expected, this is now my preferred method for making hot sauce. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.